feel? Maybe you can take a step forward, maybe have a little bounce tonight. Yeah, I mean, I just like, you know, last game was a little step forward, and then practice is a big step forward. I mean, this is just another small one. Um, nothing big, but I mean, uh, we're heading in the right direction. So uh, physically, I felt good. Uh, today was actually the first day I came to the game without a boot on. So mentally, I felt good about everything. And, and uh, went out there and played free. So. Coach Miles just said they, they're going to need you. Um, obviously, I know this is a team game, but you're, you're a big piece in the middle. How, how good did it feel to kind of get going tonight? It was good. Um, you know, get out there and get in the flow of things a little bit, not have to worry about fouls as much. Um, so, like I said, it's just another step forward. Josh, do you agree with the Nebraska coach said that you guys will need players in this season? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the games we've played before, it seemed like Landon was always in foul trouble, so it was kind of hard for him to really just get started and, you know, stay on the floor and get in the groove of things. But tonight, it was really good to have him out there. <laughs> oh yeah, I was expecting it. We he throws that to Carlton, uh, Udoka all the time in practice, and since I was the four out there, I'm just so happy to be the one to get it. What happened to the one off the backboard? Oh, sweet. Come on. <laughs> See, originally, I just the plan was to just throw me the ball, and then it was going off the backboard. So I don't know about that. <laughs> who, who got the worst of it from Coach? Uh, about team. equal. <laughs> Everybody out on the court. <laughs> I thought he played really well. I thought he was quick into his moves. He didn't catch it, hold it, and hesitate. I thought he played really well. I actually thought he and Doak and Mitch, what, what, they were 7-7 seven seven the first half and combined to go 9-10. and ten. And he told me before the game that you know, we'd get 20 points out of our, out of our five man. I, I would be really happy with that. So that was, that was positive. Do you think being one one guy short in the front court could have led to their having better focus? And no, no, no. Not, not at all. No, I don't. I don't think. Uh, you know, we talked about you know trying to play defense early on before your man catches it because a couple of silly fouls by both of those guys, you know, could kind of. I mean, Dwight and Mitch are capable, but it, but they don't get a chance to practice with those guys much, so you probably wouldn't have as much rhythm offensively. But, you know, but they were able for the most part to stay out of foul trouble. I thought the first half we were really good. I thought we were really solid the first half. Second half we weren't. I, I could be wrong. Uh, I think we missed nine out of ten free throws in a row. I mean, and, 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 and you know, it kills all momentum. You missed, you can't make free throws. And you throw it off the backboard and miss dunks. And I mean, it, it was it was not good. And then we didn't guard anybody in the second half. So. Uh, but the first half we were pretty good, so we'll, we'll dwell on the positive. That's what I always choose to do is try to dwell on the positive. Landon also said this team needs to develop more of its killer instinct than be able to, to step on your on, on the opponent's throat when you got a good lead. Well, that's what that's what we should have done, you know. Not 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 saying that Nebraska would come out and try and, and, and that automatically happens. I don't think that at all. But we had we had a chance and and and. and uh, and took the foot off the gas a little bit. And, you know, we couldn't guard uh, Webster, and, and uh, that obviously hurt us. But second half, they got the ball where they wanted to. And, and the first half, that they didn't as much. And, and but the second half, that we didn't, we didn't play very intently defensively at all. You talked a lot about liking, you know, when, when it's uncomfortable for your guys. It, is this a good thing to go through then, that second half? I mean, you're up 20 on the scoreboard, but you're still yelling at him about this and that and these little um, things. I, you know, maybe so. You know, most of my, most of our, I shouldn't say my, most of our best defensive teams, uh, the one reason why they were better defensively is because we weren't as good offensively. You know, when you score easy sometimes, you, you have a tendency to think everything's okay if the other team does. Uh, and, and, and now I'm not saying we're unbelievable offensively, but we scored easier this year than I think any team maybe we've had in a long time. So uh, as much as we've emphasized and stressed it, I think there's a good intentions, but I think when, when, when things kind of get to the point where they're comfortable, I think I think they take the foot off the gas. Who's that on? Is it seniors? Is it you? Is it, is it? Well, I, I, you know, I, I like to, you know, I 
guess the coach takes responsibility for everything. Right. So you know, so I guess it's on me. But you would think those two little guards would make sure everybody else follows. Yeah. Would you would you say you guys are still in the situation? Oh yeah. There's no. I, I don't know anything more than what. Uh, uh, I knew yesterday, which was very limited. I, I know the exact same thing that that, uh, that you know. Uh, you may know more uh, uh, based on uh, uh, what what's been reported. So yeah, it, it's you know obviously something that uh, it's it's going to get talked about. There's no we understand that Carlton understands that, uh, but it's not anything that that is it's really worth a, a lot of commenting on because you know obviously there's. There's no decisions to be made uh, uh, as far as finality goes until you know actually you know you hear what's transpired, and, and uh, uh, certainly uh, I'm sure that the the respective people are in the process of trying to do that, figure it out. How much of a distraction was it you think for the team? And it didn't look like in the first half. I, th I think I think maybe uh, one reason why in the first half we were a little bit more focused maybe was because of it. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, uh, but they seemed to be pretty focused the first half. Uh, uh, but but it, it, it was a distraction. But, you know, in, with teams and, and throughout seasons and everything, you know, there's going to be different things come up. Not necessarily things that, like this that, that are legal things, but there's going to be things that come up that, that the public may not know about that can definitely create uh, distractions. And, and uh, I, I don't know that it, it helps us to play through that uh, at all, but but because you certainly don't want to deal with it. But I, I think the first half we, that that may be attributed a little bit to us being a little bit more focused. At least I don't know. You have a son who's the same age, basically, as Carlton, a little older. But when you're dealing with when you're talking to a player about a situation like this that obviously is uncomfortable for them, what is that like, and how do you read what reaction you're getting from a player, or the honesty level, or what do you, what do you, that, that type of thing? Well, the, the, the thing about it is, this isn't the first conversation we've had with our team about right. uh, incidents that could potentially occur, uh, uh, not only within a team, but on a campus, uh, uh, male, female. You know, it, it, you know, the, the, it's it's a obviously it's it's a it's it's a it's a serious um, situation whenever you have uh, you know a confrontation involving. Uh, Two people, primarily male and female, and and you know we've we've had outsiders come in and talk to our team. We've had uh, people on campus come down and talk to our team. Uh, all these things. Uh, the players are well aware of of of, uh, of certain situations, but but still sometimes you know obviously regardless of how well aware you know there's there's things that happen in real time that 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 uh, uh, that, that uh, create issues. And and the thing about it is, it, uh, you know. Whatever the issues are, uh, and there's obviously something because you know of, of what transpired or what's been reported so far. I'm not going to comment on anything other than the fact that I really don't know. I really don't, and and, and I'll, uh, I'll 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 stand by that until you know somebody in charge educates me on on on, on, on the situation, and who knows how long that will take. So was there ever any thought either from him or the, the team of not having him? Uh, no, I mean, uh, uh, you know, it's 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 a very humbling situation. I mean, I think everybody would agree with that. I mean, you know, he, he's been on the ticker and, and everything. It's a humbling situation, but it's it's not one that you run from. It's one that you you, you when things happen, you, you address them like 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 a manner in which you should, even though. That's not saying good, bad, or indifferent, you know. Uh, so, so to give to, to have him not be on the bench would also would basically be saying that is he not part of your family, you know? Uh, I think you know the, the decision that he will not play until this is resolved. I mean, or, or until we know what's going on. I, I think that that speaks for itself. But but there was there was no thought of, of uh, not having him. Uh, 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 be a part of this. That, that, that's also part of the educational process as well. I think. Will it affect how you practice, or, or if he practices, or anything like that? Uh, I would say probably not. 
you know, we didn't we we said that he's uh, you know going to be withheld from all team competitions. So we're gonna we're, we're gonna stick with that. And and t unless something else tells us there needs to be something else, <coughs> so so which that may occur, may not occur. I, I don't know. But that's that's where it's at. More from the competitive standpoint. I mean, if you don't have him for a certain number of games or time. Do you have to work other guys in there and take his reps away a little bit just, uh, just for this team? Oh yeah, I would I would say as far as a, a, a strategy on on you know you want to get guys ready that you feel like that will be have an opportunity to play. So so uh, yeah, that that would certainly affect uh, that part of practice without question. It's uh, obviously he's not a polished basketball player yet. You see that a lot of times during the game. But are you real happy with the Jokers? Effort that you know, I, 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 I am sometimes. Uh, uh, I think he's great. I think he's a stud. I think he's going to be really good. But there's times where he can impact the game a lot more and block more shots or jump to block shots or, or, or things like that that maybe if his man doesn't have the ball, he doesn't react as quick as he should. Uh, but, but you know, he's going to get that. I mean, he's, he's going to get that. I, I think he could be an unbelievable shot blocker, and he's not quite there yet. But, but uh, uh, I... I I mean, I'm pleased with Doak. He's got a long ways to go, but he's gaining on it. Coach, you kind of mentioned the, the killer mentality to close out a game and how a lot of that falls in the guards. Is that something like Josh can help with too? Yeah, but when I say a lot, you question was, you know, who needs to probably do, you know, take responsibility? Well, if you have a junior and a senior guard that are thought of by many to be really good, which I totally agree, then they should accept responsibility on those things. And sometimes we do for the most part, but sometimes uh, – uh, we, we we play to the score, as opposed to as opposed to playing like the score zero zero at halftime. What did you think about Josh today? He was active. You know, first half he did a little bit of everything. He turned it over. He got assists. He blocked shots. He got steals. He he did everything. Uh, second half, I don't think he had any turnovers. And you know, five block shots and two steals and six rebounds. And you know, if he makes if he makes four more free throws and finishes a dunk, I mean, he gets his career high. You know, so he played well, and it gets his career high with five blocks. It's just we kind of, you know, he just didn't kind of close the game out probably from a scoring standpoint that he potentially could have. What did you not like about the alley oop attempt off the backboard? I mean, is it just the play itself, or, or not finishing, or all the? Above? I don't think I got on to him for for uh, uh, the play as much as the probably not respecting the game uh, the way they should in that situation. So so speed through it off the backboard, big deal. Well, if you're Josh, you got to catch it and finish it. You don't have to catch it and and, and, and try to do more with it than what you could. Uh, but but uh, you know, back when I played and we threw it up, we did that. You know, I always just tried to make the easy play. You know, uh, uh, but but you know, I, I don't think it was the right play in that particular situation. Anything else? Is, is Jackson capable of being kind of a, a rim protector when you play these four guard lineups? Well, he, yeah, he's our best shot blocker, obviously. Uh, uh, Dope should be. And Landon should be second, but I think Josh probably goes after the ball as well as anybody. But but you, you say rim protector. No, not uh, rim protectors to me is when there's been mistakes made on the perimeter and, and you got a guy that can cover up for him. He's not Jeff Withy uh, by any stretch, but he is a guy that can make a lot of blocks. Uh, and a lot of his blocks come kind of from transition and things like that where you can run guys down and things like that. But as far as half-court defense, I, I wouldn't consider him. All right, guys, thanks.